my beautiful people how are you all doing oh my goodness i've i've missed okay. you guys i guess i was thinking i should have a gist with you guys concerning my life <laughs> you know why i have so many things to share with you guys staying alone wasn't my expectations in life but the real expectations hits me you know why i got married at that young age and the joy the happiness the excitement involved that if i get like me getting married stay with my husband building a family at that young age that kind of you give your own self time maybe at this particular age i have to finish my childbearing at this particular age i have to finish my education that kind of thing as for me that expectation cut off <laughs> it cut off every woman expect to be stay with a man stay with a husband and also starting life with him seeing him every day waking up with him praying together planning things together like the childbearing journey your education feathering everything like you who will do it together that kind of expectation i did not get at that early age mine was <laughs> dream of let's see my need to say why I open my eyes and that expectation just vanish like that and the reality hits me the reason why my expectation was cut short was that my husband got admission and he has to travel at that same year can you imagine that same year that same month so my last marriage ceremony at the hometown that was the day that last day he traveled out from the country so, <laughs> luckily for me i was called to come for my appointment later so i quickly went back home with my family members and they said i have to start work is it the next week or something like that so that that time to hobi has already left so to me i was thinking of the work that i got that was the only hope that i was having and also was thinking of how i'm going to stay alone as a married woman but what god has written nobody can change it maybe that was my destiny i always want to hear from him I always want to hear from him but I also forgot that he's also schooling so sometimes if he's not calling me I will just start thinking what is so what people are saying is it true why why is he not calling me this time that kind of thing then it will make me more angry so to that so we can talk for hours sometimes we even be talking and we all fell asleep so that one also helped me a lot so he knows it he really knows it me testing is not my line i don't like testing testing much especially when it's concerning my husband i would like to see him face to face and know that he's okay that one does it so on that aspect to really count it really helped me a lot so but the only thing that keeps me going was my bible and i was also watching a whole lot of things from youtube i discovered youtube and youtube also helped me a lot like the way the bible helped me so i used to spend a whole time watching youtube i don't mind buying data every second i'll watch they have opened this motivational speech program or something like that that they are doing concerning marriage i will listen to them 
they are based in Nigeria. So I will listen to them. And if I'm listening to them, it seems like they are talking to me. So that also helped me a lot. And then people's videos, those couples watching some Nigerian YouTubers, those cooking cooking shows. And I also learned some cooking skills, be how their food, some of their food, like Eba, Egushi, um, um, that they are Obono, like Obono soup. A whole lot of things I started learning from them and then I added it to my cooking skill that my mama taught me. <laughs> so I became more 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 happier that I have learned something from this platform that's YouTube and I've also occupied my mind from certain things and it really helped me. So anytime they decided my brother should come and stay with me because it wasn't good for me senior high admission. So he enrolled in the school and he used to stay with me while going to school. Sometimes when they're on vacation, he will come and stay with me. So when school resumed, then he'll go back from my place to school. So that also helped me a lot because he too know how to make me happy like then because I was not happy staying alone. But I was also excited of how I was able to stay faithful and see some years ago what I went through and I'm here today with my husband. It always makes me happy, thankful and proud of myself all the strong team members I have, my backbones. That's the Almighty God, my in-laws, my my lovely mother-in-law, and then my lovely parents and siblings I have. They all played a good role in my life while I was staying. How you train your mind and how you behave towards everybody. You see, be good. And life will be okay for you. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to stay positive and be you.